Good morning, dogs. <laughs> morning how you doing good a little bit of moving stuff around this morning we're gonna get the big horse here back home do some tillage closer to home oh you guys okay i ran you into the corner post there <laughs> ripper's been going good josh did mention he lost a bolt last night it was on one of these bearing holders it was one of these bolts but he found a smaller one put it in there. So one of these has a smaller bolt, but it must be holding together. Dad is actually gone today. He's got a family situation down south. Uh, he, so he's got to take off. I've never spent a day of harvest in my life without Dad around, but we're going to get it done. We are going to bring this tractor home because it needs some fuel. And we just think as short as we are on help, it's going to be easier just to have everything right close to home. So today, I plan on putting the kids to work. Somebody's got to pull the plows. Heads up. No, nope, don't take the fence down. Figure out where you got out. Hang a left. Hang a left. There you go. We'll throw some fuel in this later. I think we might be going to get a semi truck now if we have time we're kind of out of time to go get a truck so we've got fuel going in the other tractor i'm gonna go make a couple rounds with this we've got this all hooked up but i haven't actually gone out and made sure that it's set right and running good and we've got josh coming soon anyway i gotta make sure this thing's set the way we want it <laughs> This machine is what we call the vertical tillage tool. Now this exact model is a Mendeco Storm. It's got a ton of adjustability. It goes from zero to 14 degrees. It's basically got 100 pizza cutters on there. So we can do some pretty solid heavy tillage or we can just run those things straight and basically just chop stuff up on top without going very deep. We're gonna use it actually to chop up some of the stringy stalks on a lot of the stuff that was knocked down that the combine wasn't able to do a great job of of chopping those stocks because of the way they were knocked down. I'll get out and check the depth in a minute, but you can see the chopping job that it's doing. This is a great tool for reducing tillage if you want to be able to just open that top side up and really chop the residue up. I think I've got one basket not turning very well because I can see it bunching up. I wonder what's going on. No, it's this setting. It's actually the harrow. These are super easily adjustable, so you can adjust the harrow. I say super easily, but right now it's plugged up with stocks, so I'm going to have to raise it up. Normally, it's super easy. Otherwise, it's doing pretty good. It's doing what we want it to do. I went a little bit deeper with it here. We'll see how it does. The key to this thing is speed. It likes speed and i can see my working width is off so i'm gonna have to adjust that um, okay how do i i still don't know these gen 4 monitors great sounds like onyx is ready to run some combine so i'm kind of out of time with this thing right now it needs def and one of the harrow sections is like it must have got bumped with something it's way out of adjustment and i can't get it free like so it's gonna need a hammer not the basket, the harrow part. Oh. It's got a harrow in front of the basket with an adjustment lever on it and I can't move it. Donut. It was donut time. You ready? Yep. This is your time to shine. We are down on dad, or grandpa, for three days. We got, let's see, carry the nine, 375 acres left. Most of it close to home. I think we can run 20 hour days and get it done so he doesn't have to worry about it. 20 hour days. I've been running 16s and getting up at night with the dryer for about four weeks straight so far. I think you can do it. You climb up there and check that oil, boy. I'm too old to be climbing up this ladder anymore. Just gonna take a quick look at the header here. Make sure everything's looking okay. We were pretty hard on this header in that down corn, but this corn is standing phenomenally and yielding pretty dang well, so high hopes here as we go for the next few days. 
May as well check the oil on the grain cart tractor while we let that warm up. Now Onyx ran this machine last year on corn, so he really just needs to brush up a little bit. Well, we're gonna have to put this down here. All right, now don't add any more cab corn today, Onyx, okay? No more. So I should start the head after. No. And throttle up. We don't have a grain cart operator yet this morning, so we're just dumping standing still. I'm gonna help him out a little bit here, even though I hate doing it. With the sun at the wrong angles, that can get really brutal to try and see through. Onyx has got the grain cart full. There's a truckload in there and the hopper's full in the combine. I know Scott's back home two miles away from here putting diesel in the truck, so we're gonna go back and get a couple of trucks moving here. It's just gonna be a slow start without dad and getting the kids used to everything, but it's a good time to do it. I'm really hoping his sister comes out to run grain cart later. Some fertilizers going on both sides of the road. We got a red tractor in one of our fields again. He's gone. He's on his own. Baptism by fire. School of hard knocks, as they say. He's got it. People will probably ask or think, wonder if I'm nervous at all. No. He's driven that thing before. He's been running grain cart and tillage for three, four years now. The kid drives a race car. He ran like 20 shows last summer and never caused a single wreck. He's solid. Plus combines are cheap, so, you know, if he wrecks it, I can always cry. He's gonna have to dump one more time standing still. Scott and I will get up here and someone will hop in a grain cart, someone will take a truck. Nitrogen going on for next year's corn crop. Our soils have gotten plenty cold, so that nitrogen will stay there. There is very, very, very little microbe movement below 50 degrees, so that soil will, that nitrogen will stay in the soil. And there is a little bit of potassium or potash going down for next year's soybean crop. We'll work that into the soil later today, get some tillage done on that, work it in, and it will dissolve itself within the soil. Lots of button pushing. The kid's got a truckload for me. Or close in the grain cart already. I plan on giving him the camera later, but I want to make sure he's really comfortable in the combine before I give him a camera. So hopefully you'll get a couple minutes of Onyx cam footage from inside the combine later on. Five to three, uh, I'm gonna get the grain cart dumped here and then I'll come get you so when you get full you can stop there. Beep, beep, beep. Scott, if you're by radio yet, this uh, truck that's up here is full enough to take, so you can just swap them out as soon as you get here. Okay, he definitely looks plenty full, but I don't think he added any to the roof yet. Oh, he's got a couple inches left to go in there. Let's go about 3.3. I don't know.
don't know what some people think factory farming is. This is the very definition of a family farm here. And every farm I know in this area is the exact same way. So whatever factory farming might be, I don't know. Another full truck. We're starting to scoot now. Things are starting to click. I told him he had enough room he could make it all the way to the end without overfilling the tank. And he did. He's got he's got 100% uh, on the monitor and he's got at least a quarter of an inch of room. There we go. I don't think he spilled a kernel. That's better than I would have done. I'm always in too big of a hurry. Once you're done unloading here, I'm going to have you make a couple changes to the settings for me, okay? And for over on your right hand screen on the on the hand one, you see uh, the one there's like a, a fan symbol. It's a symbol for a fan. It shows like 1260 RPM. And does it have a it almost looks like a like turbo blowing window? Yep, exactly. It looks like a turbo blowing wind out. So click on that and then hit the plus button and increase that to like 1300. I can What's the plus button? There's about five. The plus button next to that symbol. I can see his settings on the op center app here. Just once? Nope, hit it until it'll, it'll go to 1300. Just increasing the fan speed and I'm gonna have him close the sieves down one number. I thought it looked to me like the corn I was getting in the cart and putting in the trucks just seemed like it was a little bit dirty. Not bad but we're always trying to get it as good as possible so I had to make a couple real small changes. I'm gonna see what kind of job it's doing now. Just want to make sure we're not finding much for kernels back here. I don't see any right there. About as clean as it ever gets. We just, it's good corn in a lot of these fields this year, so the machines are working good. The kid's moving quick. Grain cart's struggling to keep up. Trucks are struggling to keep up. It's good corn and the kid's got it. Now we need another guy to run another truck. There's our new grain cart driver. She's waiting on the end. Onyx's sister's gonna be out. The whole family's gotta get on, in on it when Grandpa leaves. Otherwise, we just don't have enough people. Are you ready? All right. Here, you take the buddy seat for a little bit. You even got your Stanley mug? It's Dr. Pepper. You what? Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's Dr. Pepper in the mug. That sounds pretty good. I don't think I'll make it to the end, so I gotta dump it from here. It's not on. It's definitely not on. No, it isn't. Prove it. I heard it. That was just, it just does that. I'm going to drive one more round and then we're switching seats. Mm -hmm. You better get all your checks mixed in now. See it coming? There you go. Okay, it's gonna come towards the top now, not yet. 
see it coming there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now scoot and then start closing the gate right away. There you go. The blue one? Back. Oh, the green one. Push the green one forward. Oh, he's got a tile coming too, so let's just let him dump. You gotta get closer, Reed. See it coming there? Move that end of the auger so it's the corn's a little closer to you. Closer. There you go. I didn't think that one through. I should maybe jump over a rower. I think I'll make it to the end because I was empty there at the end. What do you think here, Rhiannon? What do you mean? Are you ready for me to jump out and leave you on your own? Um. Not quite, I don't think, but you're getting close. Go. Uh, let go now. There we go. Got her speed set. She's got it down. What was that goofy side eye? <laughs> sunshine went away there's all kinds of clouds now no rain it's just it's just not sunny good job all right Rhiannon's gonna have a new co-pilot jump in with her for a bit here we all switched places here Becky's riding in there with Rhiannon just to make sure you know, she doesn't crash into anything, but she's doing really good. And we got some decent corn here. We got a good clean sample. I didn't see anything messed up in here, so Onyx didn't mess up any of my settings. Everything's running awesome. Okay, Rhiannon, that'll be more than enough to fill the rest of that semi because it's almost half full so you can go fill that truck. just washed this window this morning. Onyx goes and gets it all dusty again. There is definitely some solid corn in this field, but it's not as good as we had hoped. I mean, it's it's good. It's really good. Just, we thought it'd be better. And the worst part is, it seems like my wife is a fairly legit green card operator. So, I don't know where that's gonna leave this channel. Last 12 rows over here. Not total for the field, but 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 everything for what I wanted to get done tonight anyway. We're going to end today at around 92, 93 total acres done, which is a solid day. Not a huge day, but a solid day. But we started late. It took some time getting the kids going again. It was just a little bit of a slower day, and, and honestly, it's, uh, let's see here. It's only 7.30 at the moment. So we'll be done work and we'll even have everything home and in the sheds around eight o'clock. Um, it's a Saturday night right now as I record this. So, you know, dad's gone. We got some family stuff going on. It's a pretty solid day. We're just gonna pick it back up again in the morning and, and get what we can while we're short on help. We're down Jim, we're down Alan right now for, for a different reason, and we're down dad right now. So we're just, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. It's just, uh, it's a unique year for sure. Well, we do have Josh out here, but you haven't seen him all day. He's just been trucking along doing tillage. So he's gotten uh, 80 acres or 90 acres so of, of ripping done. It was a late start for him also, but I'm betting he's going to go later tonight. He's going to move over to this field. So we're definitely still getting stuff done. That's going to do it for tonight. Again, really solid day. Circumstances considered. 
I can even still pronounce circumstances. Folding the hoppers. Hey, Anna. I'd pet you, but I got my lunchbox in this hand. This thing will be ready to fuel up in the morning. We'll get some tillage going. I don't know, we'll see where we're at with everything in the morning. For now, I gotta head up and get that last truck that's still sitting in the field. Did the channel lose their editor now? No. No? I don't like turning green for it to start, I do know that. Oh. 23, when you get to the end, you can let that thing cool down and I'll, I'll grab you on the way by with the truck. You want help fixing that? Yeah, you seen that too? I see I it. See, I just noticed yeah. that. Yeah, we can fix that quick. Right. Got a shear bolt broken on a on a shank. They're built to do that, and with our rocks, they do that. So they're supposed to be pointed forward like these ones, not straight up and down like that one. The last one, I had to use some force to it. That's what this is for. Yep, that's what I, I used that for here. I actually put it against the... Oh boy, that's tight. Yeah, they're tight. I if we can get it from I underneath. It. I did it this way last time and then just push it. And move that one right there. Move, I don't know if it's loosened. Maybe push this down, maybe I can hammer hammer the new one through. So the old one will come out. I got it. I got it. You got it? There we go. Well if that's the worst breakdown we have today, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, that ain't so bad then. No. Overall not a bad day, but I I almost made it bad because I think I left my phone sitting on top of the ripper shank with the flashlight on so we could see everything. So I'm gonna drive back to the field and get that before Josh plows it under. Look at that. Ugh. Right where I left it. That's it. I'm going in, other than coming out and watching the dryer every couple of hours, I guess. It's uh, almost nine o'clock now anyway, so didn't really end up being a super early night for me. Yeah, what do you do? Hey, Didge. How was your day? Oh, it's not bad. Well, that's good. All in all, a pretty dang good day. It was pretty awesome to have the kids out there and Becky out there and have the whole family kind of jump in. Onyx has been begging ferociously to get out back in the combine and we've just been waiting because it's not a good time to get them back in there when we're going through tough corn that's laying on the ground like we have been for the last week here and same with Rhiannon she has wanted to run grain cart like crazy it's the same deal just conditions weren't right so today conditions were awesome on top of that we needed them it worked out really well so thanks guys and thanks Becky for sitting with Rhiannon in there and then stepping in at the end and everybody it takes it takes a team as you can see it takes people to help out you know I can't do it alone dad and I can't do it just the two of us, so it definitely takes a team and... All right, well, and thanks for watching. If you guys want merch, we got we got a whole bunch. There's, there, I'll end, I'll end my thank yous with a shameless plug. It's disgusting. You certainly are a sellout, Zach.